our channel. Welcome back to our kitchen. Welcome back to our lives. Once again, you're in the kitchen cooking with Ellen J. I'm Lee. And I'm James. And today we're going to be cooking a popular, well known deli sandwich for you guys. It has corned beef on it, it has Swiss cheese on it, it has sauerkraut on it. Have you guessed what it is? What are we having? We're making Reuben sandwiches. A uh, grilled Reuben sandwiches. So if that sounds good and you want to learn how to make this awesome deli sandwich, stay tuned because right now we're going to get right into the ingredients. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. We have our Russian dressing, Tuscan garlic bread from the bakery, Swiss cheese, corned beef, and sauerkraut. Uh, that sauerkraut, I had to get as much liquid out of it as I can. You know, it comes packed in that pickling liquid. Um, I put it in, inside of a paper towel, squeezed it as best I could to get as much liquid out of it because you don't want that liquid on your bread. Um, that's going to make for a soggy sandwich and that's not going to make for a good Reuben. Um, but right, right now, since we have everything right here, let's put the sandwich together. All right, let's get it done. All right. Slices of meat on. And as you can see, this uh, meat is shaped uh, a little, uh, it's, it's way bigger than the bread, so I'm folding it over, you know, because you, you want as much meat as you can in the bite, not hanging over. I know some people like their meat to hang over the size of their bread, but you know, I prefer it not to be. <laughs> okay, is this like a double portion of meat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did forget one thing. I'm putting, I'm gonna put the squish on, on both sides of the bread. So when you flip it, it'll, both sides will get melty. So, but, um, but I can take care of that easily. But um, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna put the squish on this side and I'm gonna break it up a little bit so it fits on the bread the way I like it, like so. Mm -hmm. I'll do the uh, sauerkraut when I, uh, when I flip it over. Looks good. Oh yeah. Okay, I think that's enough cheese for that. All right. Now, let's flip this baby over and I'll do the, um, the sauerkraut and the dressing. Okay. I'm gonna put this dressing on, I mean uh, the sauerkraut on. This, this is a good dish to make at home. We have a local deli here. That we also um, purchase these sandwiches from called the Brooklyn Pickle. So I don't know what your local deli is, but um, once again, you know, you might not be able to get to the local delicatessen or your favorite sandwich shop. So this is a great option to make at home. Now I'm gonna put a little bit more sauerkraut on mine, since I know you don't like as much as I do. I love the sauerkraut. He knows his wife. Yep. That one there is mine. Looking good. And right on top of that, goes our Russian. And Russian. all Russian dressing is really is mayonnaise, ketchup, and relish so oh, you can easily make your own russian dressing if you do not want to go and buy some from the store but we chose the easy route now i never thought about making my own russian dressing so no no so i guess i'll be buy just buying this from the store <laughs> old trick when you didn't when we ran no. out of a uh, salad dressing when i was a kid that's what my aunt used to do all right yeah. and that's it for the dressing Um, is that enough cheese for you, or would you like some more? Because I could put some more in there. That was actually good for me. I would like one more piece of meat, please. One more piece of meat? Yep. You don't even have to fold it. Uh, you can just slap it right on top. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well. That's, that's fine. Okay. That's fine, babe. Just uh, like okay. that. Slap it right on top. Boom. Okay. I 
I'm good. I'm having a, my sandwich custom made, y'all. All right. <laughs> y'all fix it how y'all like it. That's how I like it. Okay. And now, one thing left to do is get these things in the pan. In the pan? With some butter, of All course. All right. Some good old butter. Yep. All right, let's go on over to the stove. Our pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna put a little butter in here. Ooh. Yeah. I like that butter. Butter makes it better, yes it does. It's that good butter. Got that anointing on it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you like what you see so far, like the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the video. Comment. We certainly appreciate your comments. Please do. Yeah. So now we're gonna let this grill. And since this is uh, kind of a thick sandwich, we're gonna put a lid on it because we really want the insides to be done also. Mm -hmm. uh, we want the inside to be nice and hot. And the best way to do that is not to have it on a high heat. Because if you really wanted it, if, we, if, if you really wanted to get the, the nice crust that you want on the outside, but not burnt, but just a nice crust, you have to have a low heat. Um, in about three minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it over, put the lid right back on it, and let it go some more. So this thing is, is frying and it's steaming. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be right back. Take a quick look. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Looking good. Yep. In about two minutes. Two see minutes? If See if it's to the nice shade of brown that we want. Okay. It's looking good. Now you gonna add some more butter right now? Yes, I am. I see the butter over there. That's why I didn't put it away. That's that good butter. Look at that. How much was that butter about? Nine dollars. Nine dollars. That's the Amish butter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, it has a higher uh, fat count. In it. <laughs> it tastes like butter's supposed to taste. That's 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 what it is. It's, uh, that's what the Amish make. The real deal. You could, if you eat that, and well, you compare it to something like Land Lakes, you can tell the difference. You sure can. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Like we need it, mm. but it shows good, and we don't buy it all the time. No. Right? No. Well, they give you more than a pound. The, um, that it's like maybe a, a pound and a half. It's a big hunk of butter, and it, it, it comes in like a roll, mm -hmm. um, like, a, like, a, like a piece of a log that got cut. A off. cylinder. Yeah. Take it out the pan. Cut it up. Take it out the pan. Cut it up, serve it up, eat it. All right. This one's looking a little albino. <laughs> so we'll, we'll turn that one over too for a little bit. Unless you like it like that. Oh, yeah. What you think? You like it like that? Yeah. No mind? Okay. Well, if you like it like that, you can leave it like that. Look at that nice crust. Ooh. Look at that. Now that's the color I like. That's the color you like? Oh, yeah. Ooh. 
about that? I like that a lot. Like that one even more? Oh yeah. Well good, because that one's yours. <laughs> it's popping. Yeah. It's on and popping. <laughs> Literally. I didn't know that uh sauerkraut when it touches the uh when it gets into a hot pan, it pops. Mm -hmm. It's uh like it's trying to pop out the pan. It is actually it is popping out the pan. That's one of the reasons I had the lid. Oh, I put it back on. Yeah. Hot sauerkraut pops. Who knew? Learn something new every day. Yep. But these uh these jelly sandwiches, they remind me of when I was younger. I love jelly sandwiches so much that I would eat them for breakfast. <laughs> there was a deli not too far from where I lived at. And I would go and get pastrami, hot pastrami sandwiches mm. for breakfast. And they were just wonderful. Well, we're gonna plate this up. Next time you see this, it's gonna have a buddy. Yeah, it's gonna have a friend. All right, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. They have it. My ribbon sandwich. And look who showed up to the party. Some waffle fries. Say grace. I'm gonna taste it up. That looks mighty tasty. That's your music. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Say grace. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food we're about to receive. Bless the hands that prepared the food. Thank you for providing for us, God. This your 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 bounty, God. Nature's bounty. You will do all the praises, God. And we lift you up always. In Jesus' name, we say thank God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. What time is it? Time to eat. It's, it's, it's taste testing time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get it. Mm. The crunch. Stack it up as high as you want. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, I used to go to places that serves corned beef and pastrami sandwiches this thick. You take one sandwich and make a couple of them out of it. They were so thick. Mm -hmm. It was uh, great. But uh, I don't eat like that now. Something like this, this is perfect for me. But this is a good grilled sandwich. This is a good one. This is terrific. The butterness of the, the bread. Yeah. That Amish butter, but any butter will do. It doesn't have to be Amish butter. But this sandwich is so satisfying and savory. It's crunchy, it's buttery. It's juicy. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I got <laughs> I got a waffle fryer in this hand and the sandwich in the other. I was like, it's so good. I don't know which one to begin with. You got double trouble. Oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> And this was a satisfying meal, full of flavor, layers of flavor, layers of texture. It's just good all around. And again, if you can't make it to your local delicatessen, Brooklyn Pickle, make your own. Make your own sandwich, that way you can make it how you like it. Now Burger King says have it your way, well you can have it your way. That's right. And squeezing that liquid out of the sauerkraut makes a big difference. Um, you don't want a soggy sandwich. And getting all that liquid out of it. And like I said earlier, the, the dressing gives you all the moisture that you really need for the sandwich. Mm -hmm. It does. Look at that. Delicious. Mm -hmm. You wish it was here, don't you? One more bite. I want to finish this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Stretchy, Which cheese? Stretchy, stringy cheese. Mm -mm -mm. So, on that note, if you like this video, 
make sure you please subscribe if you already have not done so. Subscribe to the channel, like the channel, give us that fat thumbs up, and comment. And also share the video. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we hope you are enjoying these videos. Comment down below how we're doing. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you want us to make. Let us know if you made something that we made. Because these videos are going to keep coming at you. That's right. We're not going to stop. We got to eat every day. So we're going to cook every day. Just like you do. You got to eat. So on that note, do you have anything else? This was fun. But we got work. Got to go. And remember, cooking is an act of love. So if you don't want to cook this for yourself, cook it for somebody else. Alright. Alright? Right? right? Excellent. Right? All right. We out of here, folks. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. God bless. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>